Hi YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you with some safety concerns. And what set this off was that about two months ago I was at the range and I saw all this brass lying on, on the ground. And what this brass was, was 40 caliber brass that had the body of the, of the cases on all of these brass casings. The body was blown out to a larger diameter and, and, and many of them had cracks. So I got to thinking and I picked some of these up and, and we talked to the range master on that and what, what had happened was a shooter had taken 40 caliber ammunition and loaded it into his 45 caliber pistol and actually fired it but didn't even know that he was he or she was using the wrong ammunition because the whole box was shot and it was all lying on, on, on the ground and here's how it happens now on on YouTube there's another shooter that had a, a case where a 9 millimeter Glock magazine was accidentally put into a 40 caliber Glock pistol and that caused the wrong ammunition to be used but here what we have is a 45 caliber magazine but it will actually take 40 caliber ammunition you see you can load the whole magazine with 40 caliber ammunition and then when you put the, the 40 caliber magazine into the 45 caliber pistol it will actually chamber and what happens is the, the, the gun will will strip the 40 caliber cartridge into the magazine and the, the extractor will hold it so that when you fire it, it will fire. And you get these blown out cases. Well, that can't be good for the gun and it, it's dangerous for, to, for the shooter. So this is a problem. The 45 will actually chamber a, a 40 cartridge. Now you take a 40 caliber pistol, and like the other YouTuber had happen, a 9 millimeter magazine was inserted into a 40 caliber Glock pistol and it actually chambered and fired and the same thing happened the cases were blown out and this will happen here also you can take a 40 caliber magazine it's the right magazine but you load the wrong ammunition into it this is a 9 millimeter Federal HST and you see they just load right into the magazine Now if you put it into the gun and chamber around, it chambers and then the round is being held by the extractor and it will fire and blow out the case. Very unsafe. So let's, let's, let's get that out of there right now. There it is. Magazine's clear. Chamber is clear. Click. So nine millimeters will fire inappropriately in forty caliber pistols. And forty caliber ammunition will fire inappropriately in 45 caliber pistols so that if we use the wrong ammunition we can be having problems now revolver shooters we are not immune to this this happens to be a fine Smith & Wesson classic 45 Colt model 25 now if you take 45 caliber long Colt ammunition or 45 Colt ammunition and load that like these Lever Revolution 45 Colt cartridges. 
looks normal, right? And the, and the cylinder closes, of course. But now what happens if we accidentally have 44 Magnum ammunition? And we accidentally load 44 caliber ammunition into our 45 Colt cylinder. What happens? Looks pretty normal. You're not going to be able to tell. So then you close the close the cylinder and happily fire and you got catastrophe written all over this thing. 44 Magnum loaded into a 45 Colt by mistake. Now what happens if you take 41 Magnum ammunition and you accidentally load that into your 45 Colt. Look pretty normal to you. And then you close the cylinder up and draw down and you start touching them off. Well, got a big surprise in, in store for you, don't you? That's a problem. So the point is, YouTubers out there, if you haven't seen some of these blown out cases, I wish I'd, I had saved some of those. I picked up a few of them and gave them to the range master because I think it's his, his job to, to look, at, look after the safety of the shooters. But he didn't happen to notice that that shooter was shooting weird ammunition. So if I had saved some of those casings, you would see that they're blown out and, and the necks are all cracked. And the bullets went down the bore. So uh, that's a good uh, a point for all of us to, to, to keep aware of. And that is, if we bring friends to the range and we have different ammunition lying around, you might not make the mistake, but that friend who's a new shooter might very well grab the wrong box and start to load, uh, the, uh, load your gun that he's using with the wrong ammunition and bad things could happen. We don't want bad things to happen. We don't want litigious society uh, examples to, to start happening. We just don't want these things to occur. We want all of our shooters to have a good time and a good safe time. So watch out for this. Take care for against it. Take care against these kind of things to happen. And um, that's why all of our guns are stamped with the caliber. So we can't blame the manufacturer that this is a 45 Colt. What are you doing loading 44 Magnum in it? Or this one is a 40 caliber. It's right on there. So if 9mm ammunition gets into this gun by mistake, the manufacturer can say, well, you know, we, we tried to make it obvious. Same thing with this one. The 45 Auto is all stamped on there. So YouTubers, take care. Have a good, safe time at the range, and let's enjoy our sport. Bye for now.